And they brought in the ark of God, and set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord, and distributed to all Israel, both men and women, to each a loaf of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. Then he appointed some of the Levites as ministers before the ark of the Lord, to invoke, to thank, and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph was the chief, and second to him were Zechariah, Jael, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Mattathiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jael, who were to play harps and lyres. Asaph was to sound the cymbals, and Benaiah and Jehaziel the priests were to blow trumpets regularly before the ark of the covenant of God. Then on that day David first appointed that thanksgiving be sung to the Lord by Asaph and his brothers. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. O offspring of Israel his servant, children of Jacob his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance." When you were few in number, of little account, and sojourners in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Touch not my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth, tell of his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and he is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are worthless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him, strength and joy are in his place. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength, ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name, bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness, tremble before him all the earth. Yes, the world is established, it shall never be moved. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, and let them say among the nations, The Lord reigns. Let the sea roar, and all that fills it. Let the field exult, and everything in it. Then shall the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures for ever. Say also, Save us, O God of our salvation, and gather and deliver us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. So David left Asaph and his brothers there before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to minister regularly before the ark as each day required, and also Obed-Edom and his sixty-eight brothers, while Obed-Edom, the son of Jeduthun, and Hosa were to be gatekeepers. And he left Zadok the priest and his brothers the priests before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings to the Lord on the altar of burnt offering, regularly morning and evening, to do all that is written in the law of the Lord that he commanded Israel. With them were Heman and Jeduthun and the rest of those chosen and expressly named to give thanks to the Lord, for his steadfast love endures for ever. Heman and Jeduthun had trumpets and cymbals for the music and instruments for sacred song. The sons of Jeduthun were appointed to the gate. Then all the people departed, each to his house, and David went home to bless his household. They brought in the ark of God, and set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it and they offered burnt offerings and offerings of well-being before God. When David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the offerings of well-being, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord, and he distributed to every person in Israel, man and woman alike, to each a loaf of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. 
He appointed certain of the Levites as ministers before the ark of the Lord, to invoke, to thank, and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph was the chief, and second to him Zechariah, Jael, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Mattathiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jael, with harps and lyres. Asaph was to sound the cymbals, and the priests Benaiah and Jehaziel were to blow trumpets regularly before the Ark of the Covenant of God. Then on that day David first appointed the singing of praises to the Lord by Asaph and his kindred. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord in his strength, seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. O offspring of his servant Israel, children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account and strangers in the land, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth, tell of his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honour and majesty are before him, strength and joy are in his place. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. And let them say among the nations, The Lord is king. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult in everything in it. Then shall the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures for ever. Say also, Save us, O God of our salvation, and gather and rescue us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. David left Asaph and his kinsfolk there before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to minister regularly before the Ark as each day required, and also Obed-Edom and his sixty-eight kinsfolk, while Obed-Edom, son of Jeduthun, and Hosa were to be gatekeepers. And he left the priest Zadok and his kindred the priests before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings to the Lord on the altar of burnt offering regularly, morning and evening, according to all that is written in the law of the Lord that he commanded Israel. With them were Heman and Jeduthun, and the rest of those chosen and expressly named to render thanks to the Lord, for his steadfast love endures for ever. Heman and Jeduthun had with them trumpets and cymbals for the music, and instruments for sacred song. The sons of Jeduthun were appointed to the gate. Then all the people departed to their homes, and David went home to bless his household. They brought the ark of God and set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it, and they presented burnt offerings and fellowship offerings before God. After David had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins to each Israelite man and woman. He appointed some of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, to extol, thank, and praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph was the chief, and next to him in rank were Zechariah, then Jaaziel, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Mattathiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jael. They were to play the lyres and harps. Asaph was to sound the cymbals, and Benaiah and Jehaziel the priests 
were to blow the trumpets regularly before the Ark of the Covenant of God. That day David first appointed Asaph and his associates to give praise to the Lord in this manner. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. You, his servants, the descendants of Israel, his chosen ones, the children of Jacob. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. To you I will give the land of Canaan as the portion you will inherit. When they were but few in number, few indeed, and strangers in it, they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. He allowed no one to oppress them. For their sake he rebuked kings. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, The Lord reigns. Let the sea resound in all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Cry out, Save us, God our Saviour. Gather us and deliver us from the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. David left Asaph and his associates before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to minister there regularly, according to each day's requirements. He also left Obed-Edom and his sixty-eight associates to minister with them. Obed-Edom, son of Jeduthun, and also Hosa, were gatekeepers. David left Zadok the priest and his fellow priests before the tabernacle of the Lord at the high place in Gibeon to present burnt offerings to the Lord, on the altar of burnt offering regularly, morning and evening, in accordance with everything written in the law of the Lord which he had given Israel. With them were Heman and Jeduthun, and the rest of those chosen and designated by name, to give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures for ever. Heman and Jeduthun were responsible for the sounding of the trumpets and cymbals, and for the playing of the other instruments for sacred song. The sons of Jeduthun were stationed at the gate. Then all the people left, each for their own home, and David returned home to bless his family. They brought the Ark of God and placed it inside the special tent David had prepared for it, and they presented burnt offerings and peace offerings to God. When he had finished his sacrifices, David blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave to every man and woman in all Israel a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins. David appointed the following Levites to lead the people in worship before the Ark of the Lord, to invoke his blessings, to give thanks, and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph, the leader of this group, sounded the cymbals. Second to him was Zechariah, followed by Jael, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Mattathiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jael. They played the harps and lyres. The priests, Benaiah and Jehaziel, played the trumpets regularly before the Ark of God's Covenant. On that day David gave to Asaph and his fellow Levites this song of thanksgiving to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him, yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. Exult in his holy name. Rejoice, you who worship the Lord. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. Remember the wonders he has performed 
his miracles, and the rulings he has given, you children of his servant Israel, you descendants of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His justice is seen throughout the land. Remember his covenant forever, the commitment he made to a thousand generations. This is the covenant he made with Abraham, and the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, and to the people of Israel as a never-ending covenant. I will give you the land of Canaan as your special possession. He said this when you were few in number, a tiny group of strangers in Canaan. They wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. Yet he did not let anyone oppress them. He warned kings on their behalf, Do not touch my chosen people, and do not hurt my prophets. Let the whole earth sing to the Lord. Each day proclaim the good news that he saves. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. The gods of other nations are mere idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty surround him. Strength and joy fill his dwelling. O nations of the world, recognize the Lord. Recognize that the Lord is glorious and strong. Give to the Lord the glory he deserves. Bring your offering and come into his presence. Worship the Lord in all his holy splendor. Let all the earth tremble before him. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Tell all the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the fields and their crops burst out with joy. Let the trees of the forest rustle with praise, for the Lord is coming to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Cry out, Save us, O God of our salvation. Gather and rescue us from among the nations, so we can thank your holy name and rejoice and praise you. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, who lives from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people shouted, Amen, and praised the Lord. David arranged for Asaph and his fellow Levites to serve regularly before the Ark of the Lord's Covenant, doing whatever needed to be done each day. This group included Obed-Edom, son of Jeduthun, Hosa, and sixty-eight other Levites as gatekeepers. Meanwhile, David stationed Zadok the priest and his fellow priests at the tabernacle of the Lord at the place of worship in Gibeon, where they continued to minister before the Lord. They sacrificed the regular burnt offerings to the Lord each morning and evening on the altar set aside for that purpose, obeying everything written in the law of the Lord as he had commanded Israel. David also appointed Heman, Jeduthun, and the others chosen by name to give thanks to the Lord, for his faithful love endures forever. They used their trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments to accompany their songs of praise to God, and the sons of Jeduthun were appointed as gatekeepers. Then all the people returned to their homes, and David turned and went home to bless his own family. They brought the chest of God and placed it right in the center of the tent that David had pitched for it. Then they worshipped by presenting burnt offerings and peace offerings to God. When David had completed the offerings of worship, he blessed the people in the name of God. Then he passed around to everyone there, men and women alike, a loaf of bread, a slice of barbecue, and a raisin cake. Then David assigned some of the Levites to the chest of God to lead worship, to intercede, give thanks, and praise the God of Israel. Asaph was in charge. Under him were Zechariah, Jael, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Mattathiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jael, who played the musical instruments. Asaph was on percussion. The priests Benaiah and Jehaziel blew the trumpets before the chest of the covenant of God at set times through the day. That was the day that David inaugurated regular worship of praise to God, led by Asaph and his company. Thank God! Call out his name! Tell the whole world who he is and what he's done. Sing to him. Play songs for him. Broadcast all his wonders. Revel in his holy name, God-seekers. Be jubilant. Study God and his strength. Seek his presence day and night. Remember all the wonders he performed, the miracles and judgments that came out of his mouth. Seed of Israel his servant, children of Jacob his first choice. He is God, our God. Wherever you go, you come on his judgments and decisions. He keeps his commitments across thousands of generations, the covenant he commanded, the same one he made with Abraham, the very one he swore to Isaac. He posted it in big block letters to Jacob, 
this eternal covenant with Israel. I give you the land of Canaan. This is your inheritance. Even though you are not much to look at, a few straggling strangers. They wandered from country to country, camped out in one kingdom after another, but he didn't let anyone push them around. He stood up for them against bully kings. Don't you dare touch my anointed ones. Don't lay a hand on my prophets. Sing to God, everyone and everything. Get out his salvation news every day. Publish his glory among the godless nations, his wonders to all races and religions. And why? Because God is great, well worth praising. No god or goddess comes close in honor. All the popular gods are stuff and nonsense. But God made the cosmos. Splendor and majesty flow out of him. Strength and joy fill his place. Shout bravo to God, families of the peoples, in awe of the glory, in awe of the strength. Bravo! Shout bravo to his famous name. Lift high an offering and enter his presence. Stand resplendent in his robes of holiness. God is serious business. Take him seriously. He's put the earth in place, and it's not moving. So let heaven rejoice, let earth be jubilant, and pass the word among the nations. God reigns. Let ocean, all teeming with life, bellow. Let field and all its creatures shake the rafters. Then the trees in the forest will add their applause to all who are pleased and present before God. He's on his way to set things right. Give thanks to God. He is good, and his love never quits. Say, Save us, Saviour God. Round us up and get us out of these godless places, so we can give thanks to your holy name and bask in your life of praise. Blessed be God, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then everybody said, Yes, Amen, and Praise God. David left Asaph and his co-workers with the chest of the covenant of God and in charge of the work of worship. They were responsible for the needs of worship around the clock. He also assigned Obed-Edom and his sixty-eight relatives to help them. Obed-Edom, son of Jeduthun, and Hosa were in charge of the security guards. The priest Zadok and his family of priests were assigned to the tent of God at the sacred mound in, at Gibeon to make sure that the services of morning and evening worship were conducted daily, complete with whole burnt offerings offered on the altar of burnt offering, as ordered in the law of God, which was the norm for Israel. With them were Heman, Jeduthun, and others specifically named, with the job description, Give thanks to God, for his love never quits. Heman and Jeduthun were also well equipped with trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments for accompanying sacred songs. The sons of Jeduthun formed the security guard. Arrangements completed, the people all left for home, and David went home to bless his family.